Hi everyone, my name is Eric from Class 7A1 Ho Van Long Secondary School. Vietnam's War Invalids and Martyrs Day, July the 27th, just passed. So, we should look back at the history of Vietnam, a history full of war to protect our country's independence. Defending our country is no easy task, but the people of Vietnam have always stood up to fight invaders. We should learn about how our ancestors protected our country and what attackers did to us. I would like to introduce you the War Remnants Museum. Currently, the museum is located at 28 Vaughan Street, Võ Thị Sao War, District 3, Ho Chi Minh City. The location of the museum has witnessed nearly four centuries of history from the start of the Nguyen Dynasty through both of the wars in Vietnam. In the 18th century, the location was Quang Khai Pagoda, built by the Nguyen Dynasty. In 1859, it was occupied by the French as a stronghold. After that, the place has been changed purpose many times. It became a re-educational camp, a school, and was once the location of a mansion. When the U.S. started invading Vietnam, the building 28 Trần Cú Cáp Street, now Võ Văn Tân Street, was one of the headquarters of the American war machine in Vietnam called the Office of Civilian Personnel. In 1975, after the Liberation Day, in order to save the heroic works of Vietnamese people in battles against invaders and to accuse war crimes of the U.S. force, they established the Exhibition House for U.S. and Puppet Crimes, formerly known as the Museum of Chinese and American War Crimes. The name was changed in 1990 to Exhibition House for Crimes of War and Aggression. In 1995, following the good relationships with the U.S., it finally got the name of War Remnants Museum as we know it today. War Remnants Museum specializes in researching, collecting, and displaying artifacts about the consequences of war to Vietnam caused by the U.S., thereby propagates the spirit to protect the independence and freedom of our country. In the museum, there are facts about the Vietnam War, advanced weapons that the U.S. used, model restorations of their evil torturing methods, photos of war, and the sacrifice of Vietnamese people. We can learn how the people of Vietnam stood up to fight for freedom. Not only soldiers sacrificed themselves, but also mothers, workers, farmers, everybody rose for our country. Although we used very simple weapons, with the love for our nation, we managed to win against powerful enemies. Their journey was difficult and many had to die, but that just made us stronger and gave us more desire for freedom. We must keep up the spirit to protect our freedom and make our country a better place. That is the end of my presentation. Remember to love our country. Goodbye!